Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we are live tonight. I'm here with uh, Christian. What up? Nana. Good evening. So tonight uh, we are reviewing a Titan. I'm not exactly sure how to display mine off here. I don't know. Do I just like hold them? next to me like yeah we never really figured it out i think he's showing it better for you than he is for me oh so the title <laughs> cards like somehow the the one i've been using like somehow like went away just for a second and so like i had the old one up behind it and uh so people are like oh new schedule it's actually the old schedule so but my surprise there, as far as i know there's no new schedule at this point it was nice to change the color for a minute though yes i'll, I'll have to talk to paul about uh changing that up again so you just need to change the color it's wrong yeah yeah so anyway yeah tonight we've got uh the new arc ron already picked on you a little bit and said we finally got lucas to agree to open it so I've had my arc for what, like five, six years now? It feels like. Like I picked mine up the first time it showed up at Target, which was like a month ago. I know because I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to return the one that I got from Pulse <laughs> using my Target receipt. But I was, so it was all okay. And then mine, like was two or three weeks ago, it was tough. Christian yeah, see, was really hard to get his. I think Lucas, Lucas got actually his, like, got his first. Yeah. Or maybe Lucas like a day or two after before. mine, something like that. No, I got I got mine way before. I can't I'll have to look, but I got it online from Walmart. Yeah, yeah it was like the day went up at Walmart with the day you left for your vacation. That's true, yes. It came it, it came like in while you were still home. Oh uh, yeah, it came it came while I was on my vacation, which was in July. So yeah, see, he's had his forever. And it's been I've in the box. for a while. I but... felt really bad. Like, I felt bad that Christian, like, every day was like, why don't I have my ARC? Like, I really want it. And I'm like, well, I've got mine sitting over here in the corner. I'm, But I was waiting. It was, you know, it was like solidarity with Christian. That I, like, you know how when some, like, when you go out to a meal and they, like, bring your food out, but then they, like, don't bring out, like, whoever yours with food and, and whatnot. See, I was just So where's the solidarity of the shark decods? Because you got a shark decod <laughs> about three months before anyone else. You actually got multiples and didn't open your extras and didn't offer one to your friend Anna, who lives, like, ten minutes away. So where's the solidarity there? Mm. well okay so you got me mm -hmm. there but <laughs> see, here's the thing is is that i i've got my sharks i i don't want to split them up they're friends <laughs> my, yes. my other sharks got delayed today so the yeah, box thanks. friends box yeah, friends i've got them at two different about. retailers they both delayed them i still don't have sharks i'm not too concerned about it but i still don't have them i my theory is is my lack of enthusiasm about the sharks is probably about equal to your lack of enthusiasm about the arcs. Well, I mean, we'll get into it as far as uh, the arc, because I was actually impressed by it. Like, it. I, I have no um, attachment. I mean, I guess, like, the arc, like, whatever. Like, it's cool to have an arc and arc playset. But as far as, like, a transforming figure, you know, like didn't show up in G1 and whatnot. And so, I don't know, for whatever reason, like, the other Titan figures, like Scorponok, I was really excited about because it's like I wanted to have that big, you know, Scorponok. And, um, you know, just like all the other ones, like Metroplex. I've always wanted to have, like, a huge Metroplex and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, I, I don't know. It's just... It felt like this guy had one of the most controversial reveals because people seem the least excited about it out of most of the Titans I've seen come out. Because people, you know, ecstatic about Scorponok. They were excited about whatever came before Scorponok, Omega, whatever his name is. They got excited about that fella and Port Max and I'm kidding, Christian. 
It's it's the Anna flavor of humor that confuses you. Sometimes. <laughs> I think people were more excited about freaking Black Zarek, who wasn't even in any, you know, fiction here in the States than they were about this guy. I mean, this guy barely appears <laughs> in any fiction. It's true. It's true. Like he was, in fact, in the Kingdom cartoon for, for roughly four seconds. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> They built up, all, like, it's six, it was six episodes, right? They built up five episodes or four episodes, like, what's going on with the arc? And then it transforms, he's like, hey, I knew you guys would need me. Okay, bye. <laughs> that's that's the plot, that's the arc of the arc. Oh, look at, we got some wordplay tonight, I'm liking it. So, hey, uh, wave four for Kingdom has not like shown up on pulse right because like i thought i was taking crazy pills the other day when you were saying christian that like you have it coming from amazon and i was I like when have we when have we even pre-ordered this we ordered it in april a secret pre-order in april yeah you pre-ordered all the studio series stuff and forgot to order kingdom i don't know why yeah uh, i don't know i'm not sure so why, anyway. but, like it hasn't showed up on the other sites right like officially no. well it's, so it's on weird. CMD store had Shadow Panther and right. Lost Panther. But, like, but how is it showing Pipes up? Pipes and Slammer are not part of the wave, which is interesting. Haven't we gotten sightings in the U.S. now at this point? We've gotten sightings of Shadow Panther and Waspinator, but not Slammer and Pipes. Like, which doesn't make any sense because they're supposed to be in the same wave. How, uh, again, like, how are these things showing up in the U.S. and they have not actually went up from online That's the stores? theme for this whole year of Hasbro. Yeah. It's crazy. It has been. Things have been a little random. That's okay because we have an arc. We do have arc. So, you know, when this thing was announced was before we had fiction for it, right? The the Kingdom show hadn't come out. I got super excited because, you know, if a non transforming arc had been released and was this big, I probably would not have been able to bring myself to buy it because it would have been expensive and I just wouldn't have known what to do with it. But when you turn it into a Transformer, suddenly, new character, new design, I got really excited. So I was super pumped for this big thing. I got excited, but less than super excited. Yeah. Because I like new dudes. So let's talk about the ship first, since Christian has it in ship mode. And I know he's going to transform it afterwards. He's probably not. not. It's very loud to transform. Yeah, I was going to say, put yourself on mute if you decide to transform it there. Because it is very loud. It's not too hard to transform. It's just very loud. It's loud, yeah. No. So here is right. ship mode. It looks like the Ark, which is cool. It is missing, missing an engine, which is less cool. It is. But it's a little it's odd. fine, I guess. It kind of makes up for it with this cool ramp that you can do. Any ramp? I, the ramp thing is really cool. Like I like that gimmick. I like the gimmick too. When you set it down with the ramp open, it just has an effect to it. Like it's pretty cool. Well, it has landing gear. The thing that I like Swarm. about it is, is like, I don't know. I, I feel like that they went the extra mile with like a couple of features, like putting the landing gears in. I realized that like that's like Hasbro should be doing that, um, but I, I don't know. It just like I'm glad that they actually well, did. You it. say that. But sometimes they make the really things they should be them. doing it to stretch goals. We'll talk about that eventually. I but uh, I wish they would have spent more time on some of the connection points rather than time on the ramp. Because like any time I pick this up, these things come untagged. The, the, I get the, it ends up being the arm part, basically the leg part. And they're hard to put back together because it's so massive. And they both come untagged. These things, which are part of the shoulder assembly, you know, you have to pry them up and they come undone. It wow, they're actually pretty, they're staying in right now. I do remember one of those popping off on me when I, um, when I was first transforming it, and I was actually, I was actually transforming it at the kitchen table with my husband in the room. So I just like tried to cover it up because he gets really anxious whenever any expensive toy looks like it's breaking. I had to hide it. I was like, that didn't happen. Don't look. These pieces were off in the box for me. Is right. that true for you guys? Yes. 
Was it? I don't even remember. Yeah, you had to to put them on there. Like, weren't they completely separate? You had to, like, actually install them? They might have been. There were a couple parts that were like that. They were just, like, floating in the box. They weren't in a bag. They weren't tied down. They were just, like, everywhere. It was weird. I'll put those back on later because they're really annoying to put back on. But it does look cool. It is well-painted. The uh, pieces I talked about earlier just came on tab as I flip it around for you. The turds oh, don't yeah. move. Now they're both on tab. strange. Cool. It feels like the turrets so, should move. Anytime you look I at them, you just want to grab them. I do think the turrets should move. I was just about to say. They're all cool. Don't. They're all painted, which is great. Because, you know, Hasbro sometimes <laughs> likes to they not look pretty good, like actually. That. They look good, and they should move, and they don't. That annoys me. So, they so counter, counterpoint to that. Um, so, on... Um, metroplex um he like didn't have any turrets and there was like an upgrade kit in order to put all those turrets on it and i kind of like that they're just on there like i i realize even though they don't move it's like i'd rather that they be on there than them just like emitting them completely if that makes sense even if they didn't rotate they should be able to retract that would be good. They're, like, they're sculpted here, like they're coming out of the ship. Like, there's a cavity there. But they're just static. They're molded in. They're the painted. Bummer, it's good. Yeah, they, they look good. The real bummer about it is you're not even going to be able to upgrade kit those easily because they're just yeah. sculpted parts. Yeah, they're just sculpted like, parts. You right. couldn't just pop them out yeah. and put in good ones. Right. Nope. Uh. But it's it's good. Um, it looks like the arc. This bridge. It does. Needs paint. It has no paint. I don't that know why. That is true. Um, it does have clear plastic up in the front here. And you can open it up, and mainframe is supposed to be inside in this cavity. Mine is not because he's in Teletran mode, but he forms like a communication center. They call it a bridge of the arc, but I think that's back here. Peter would know more than I. So that, that communication center slash bridge slash whatever, like, is a really nifty idea. But when I opened it up, I didn't really think it looked that good. Like, I haven't put mine back in there since then. But I thought it looked nope. kind of... Uh, my first thought and was, honestly, why is my friend even in there? I don't get it. Why are you in there? It, it absolutely destroys any semblance of scale that you have. Does Which, it, though? on Titans, it's hard. But... yeah. This it just really feels the same as being like, absolutely massive. Because it makes it to scale with the quote unquote slug figures, right? Yes, but the Teletran that mainframe turns yeah, into that's scales true. with like normal sized Transformers. So to have well, yeah, this here, it's a scene transition, guy, Christian. When you're on the scene where um, you're seeing the arc in big arc mode, you use your slug figures like Beard Optimus. And you put those in there to play with. But then when you see transition to the inside, you get yourself a nice orange background and you use your Teletran and your big toys. Okay. Yeah, I just convinced myself of that. So, to be honest, like, as far as, like, play value in alt mode, because the other Titans have had base modes. This one just has its ship mode. This one has significantly less in alt mode, right? Like, I don't just feel that way. I just feel like it has less play value. You can't do anything with it. It, it goes whoosh, and that's it. <laughs> it has it a ramp. ramp. I mean, it's you. whooshing. There, yeah, there's a ramp. Come you on. You can shove your ramp. MicroMasters up the ramp into nowhere. Into nowhere, that's correct. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's not that, right. there's not much play value in this. Which is okay, because I think most people are just going to use it as a display piece. Right. Look like this, like I have, but um, yeah, I don't know. The turrets I mean, would have helped. Kind of like play, play value, value. Would you need though? I don't know. I'll just like Invisible you know turrets. the bases have different. They have different moving turrets and things for people to sit on and ramps and. I've I've heard that people like those stupid blast effects. You could probably make yeah. these turrets blast effect compatible, and I don't think they are. Um, so the rear thrusters, I think, are blast effect compatible, right? I think they are, yeah. They are. They are and it comes with compatible. blast effects, Christian. It does. It does. I haven't seen mine since I opened it. I tossed mine in a bag and left them there. Yeah, I mine and beard so off of are somewhere. It, um, will you stop? That's his name! I'm so uncomfortable. 
so so Ron is asking if our head is loose on mainframe and do the arms pop off at the biceps on our copies. One of my bicep does happen to do that on on my mainframe. Um, but like, yeah, I've I don't had know. no problems with back on. It's been fine. The head, the head's been fine. I haven't had any issues with my head. So, do we want to talk about mainframe second, then go back to the big robot mode? Since someone mentioned sure. mainframe. Boom. My arm's tired. Tall turn one. Yes. Which is very cool. It looks nice. It looks It really needs neat. some more support from the back. It does, because, you know, from the side oh, no. view. Are we, are we complaining about the back again? No, 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 no. Not that it looks interesting in the back. It likes to tilt backwards. Yeah. It needs, oh, like, okay. a, a, heel, a heel spur. It doesn't but really it doesn't have weight. Have heels. Yeah. yeah it you. needs something to hold it up so it doesn't just tip over. Just assume yeah, it's, like, laying case, against the wall, right? Yeah. I in guess. this case, the hollowness hurts its function. It's not just a display issue. It needs something back there to hold it up. But, yeah. I mean, you're probably, like Lucas said, you're probably going to want to put it up against the wall. If you really want to build, like, a scene with it, you probably have some of those, like, yellow, those orange building blocks everybody has for their Transformers. Yep. Or, that you just you have it up against. The, or you have those cardboard cutouts that came with uh, the Netflix figures. Oh, yeah. Kind of you needed that, too, and use this as a 3D version to put in front of the 2D version. That sounds cool functions. if I had those. I do. Um, this section right here, this is where the golden discs live. I took mine out, and I was never able to put them back again. Mine just fall out. Anytime I try to put them in, I try to yeah. put them in there, they just yeah. fall straight out. They, they were pretty securely in there, and they could never, ever go back. So it's just friction. If you want them to stay there, don't ever take them out. Yeah. You don't get a look at them. Tell you. Leave them in there. Would you consider uh, mainframe a triple changer? Yes. No. There you go. <laughs> First round is dumb. It is, though. It is it a does triple come changer, with a technically. Sky Spy, that is very difficult to deploy. I don't know. I. Yeah. I just, uh, you know, love Sky to imagine Sky. that the. Um, um, you know, that Teletran or whatever the whole time is a robot, like, you know, disguised as a, as a computer, like this whole time, we just didn't realize it. It's really depressing for the person that is the Teletran. Right. Yeah. It, it's nice that this is a mainframe homage because I like mainframe. He's a cool action master. But I've seen some customs around where they left the Teletran panels orange, but they changed the mainframe bits to his actual Action Master colors. And I really like the way that looked. That looks I wish really good. That here. Yeah, I would actually, I would like to have that. Like, I've actually been yeah, thinking, sure. you know, do I have sure. the, do I have the energy to do that myself? Probably not. With all the other customs, I don't get around to ever doing. Right. But yeah. it's a really neat idea to do that, and it would be cool if they did, you know, any sort of repaint or re-release of this to sneak that in to make me spend another hundred and sixty dollars on a spaceship transformer, which is definitely what I want to do. Here's a sky spy. It's a piece that we've always needed. You know, I figured it would be like a Legends class new transformer that it would give an alt mode to, but uh, no, they just gave us a little accessory. Got a five millimeter peg. Um, it's kind of dinky. I wish it was better. Yeah, yeah it accomplishes the thing. I think it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It is vaguely fine. <laughs> it exists, which is more than it did before. So there you yeah. go. Do I need to actually show off the golden disc since you guys like? So this is what the golden discs look like. They are accurate. Yeah, so, yours are in there. Mine are, mine are on my desk somewhere. Here they are. Not in there. Mine are being held by Dinobot and Megatron. Yeah. They are cool. They needed to happen in this line, and they did, so yay. The fact they happened in the G1 spaceship is a little odd, but it's all right. Let's see if we can get at this point. 
Okay, it, so I got a question for you. Why is there this little plastic piece on the back of him? Because when he's in piece? bridge mode, that's like Teletran 1. Yeah. Oh, okay. I forgot so he's a triple it's changer, Teletran 1 so there, that yeah. turns into Teletran 1. It's triple changer. Ah. That's right. Yeah, when he's in bridge mode, that's like the middle of the room. That's like a communications or ah. tack map or whatever. Okay. And I guess that's the thing. Like, that... That bridge mode, that like little spot where you put the slug guys, that is our play feature. You know, instead of having a play feature for our micromasters and stuff to play on, we got a play feature for things that we don't have very many of to play yeah, on. If, if you bought this figure, you have one. If you got Unicron, you get two more, right? Yeah. And there was one additional one in the Centurion pack last year. And we should be getting more. And that was also an Optimus. That leaked. <laughs> we should be getting more with the Galvatron pack, but we don't actually know that for sure, but probably. Yeah, it seems like we're going to get more, which I guess is cool. We'll get enough to decorate your Unicrons. And, you know, since they made a, like, mainline figure most of us will have that has the ports for them, I'm okay with getting more of them because I have someone to stick them. I can stick them inside of my mainframe's back. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah, That's I don't funny. know. The the slug compatibility is not something I ever wanted or needed. Yeah, it's not something they I complain about Blaster having, Blaster. though. It's not like it's bad at all. It's not bad. I don't know. So, the thing that I don't like about the slugs is having to keep track of them, because I feel like I'm going to lose yes. them here. And so, I didn't even take this point, off out of the bag. At some point, when I like go to sell whatever, and someone's going to be complaining because... Like the slug got lost or something, you know. So that's that's what annoys me. And that's a real thing. And like you're probably gonna lose them. <laughs> it's totally yeah, there's realistic. There's like a storage compartment on the figure where you can keep them safe. Like they go in those slots, but I mean they'll come loose and they'll fall out. Uh, there, like there's no place they can go to just store. Yeah, so that's small, kind of like have storage for that. Yeah, they need to go like you have to get yourself a nice little plastic bag for them, I guess. Yeah, Just throw them in the Ziploc. Yeah, a nice little plastic bag. Like get yourself one of those dice bags. There you go. Dice bag full of slug figures and blast effects. Ugh. No, the blast effects will eat the slug figures. That's true. They will. That's true. The Blast Effects are toy cannibals. They eat other toys. It's very rude of them. So, I guess, like, showing off the Blast Effects. So, the Blast Effects are, like, recolors of previous Blast Effects we've re gotten. Yep. So. They're a neat color. If you, if you wanted blue Blast Effects, here we got him. go. So, pretty exciting. I think they originally came with Jetfire, and they came with, like, Sky Lynx, and yeah. Rodimus, and probably a bunch of other stuff at this point. Yeah, I just have I don't Blast Effects, like, laying time. around my, you know, room that are just right. sitting there. I put them I all in a Ziploc bag so they can all stay by themselves away from me. And eat each other. <laughs> and eat, eat each other. other. And not my actual fun toys. I, I'm just I excited really don't like to them. see, like, in 20 years when you pull that out and it's just, like, melted itself. In One clump of, yeah, it's going to yeah. be great. Oh, maybe a little form into a neat thing. You can think that it has meaning. It'll be fun. We'll do a follow-up episode in 20 years. Put on the Sounds great. Videos. Sounds great. No. So the the teletrain mode is really good. Like, it looks like it should. I think you have several options to make it look good. But... Good grief, do I love the little mainframe. Like, he's just so cute. I love him. So I had mainframe as a kid. I actually had the Action Master. That's, like, one of my first Transformers buying memories is finding uh, the Action Master mainframe in the store and wanting it because, you know, it was showing up at discount stores, as Action Master said to do, and I was able to get him. And he's just so cute. I love him. He looks really freaking I mean, good. I don't know, Anna. He doesn't have wrist swivel. He doesn't have wrist swivel, and that's a tragedy. 
but I forgive him because he has the ankles that the Ark wishes it had. And his uh, also too. the waist swivel is like blocked by the back the of the backpack. Big too, so yeah, and mine mine's head does feel a little easy to swivel. Like not, I wouldn't call it loose yet. But if I were to play with it a ton, it would probably get looser. I actually have played with mine quite a bit, though, just because I think he's so fun. I really like how he looks. He really pulls off the, like, if Mainframe was an actual Transformer and not just an Action Master, what would he look like? This is cool. Like, I'm excited. Because he's a I'm character I've never had some details before. You don't like either? Mm? No, they're not in the wrong place. Oh, okay. So, like, okay. So, they're in the right visual place. effect. I don't mind the way these are hinged. It's just okay. a visual effect. Nice. The the shoulders on the reflector just made the arms go too low. It's all visual. But this one is fine. And, I it mean, he's got normal. hollow bits in the back. I mean, I don't know, Anna, why you like this thing. He's cute. I like him. I like him a lot. Like, I wish he wasn't all orange. Kind of. But I also kind of don't care. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of works this way. I've also heard and seen that these ports right here on the side, right here, are exactly the size of HDMI cables for some reason. They are. You could put an HDMI thing in there because reasons. I have no idea. Why would so you you have come up with that, a screen and it, you know. get a little tiny screen that you put your PS5 on it. I, it's some sort of crazy Easter egg. I, I don't know, man. Hmm. That is, I would show that the HDMI port would fit in there, but that would mean I would be disconnecting my monitor that I'm using to do the show. Yeah, I don't have one handy. Oh, hey, Eric, how's it going? Congratulations <coughs> on the new Eric. issue. I think they're, uh, he's uh, shipping on a new uh, issue of of the magazine, right? I can't remember which. Toy Robot, which yeah. To, Toy Robot. What is it issue four now? We're up to at least a hundred. No, I think it's four. <laughs> so. I so anyway, better talk about the big fella now. Mainframe is shiny. He's lovable. I like him a lot, but he's not a hundred and sixty dollar figure. This big thing is. He is big. He's probably oh. one more thing about Mainframe is he's probably the coolest pack-in friend we've had with the titan like the the two headmasters were okay they both did all right for themselves but mainframe is definitely cooler than those yeah so i'll give, I'll give you it's that either yeah, it's or scamper or, or countdown i do like countdown but mainframe's really cooler yeah, yeah. so i'll give you that so let's do the big thingamabob. He's big. So this is barely a character. It's new character. It's as if the arc had a robot mode. He, Which does, is he that, does have ankle tilt just slightly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one kind of bummer with him. Because it's like his articulation is actually, for the most part, equal to small figures. Like, he has almost all the articulation you expect a small, normal-sized figure to have. Even if you're willing to break your wrist to do it, waist swivel, that requires super strength to move. But it does move, eventually. Um, so, and its arm moves. <laughs> this is what a new I'll arm. say like, is, is after having like Metroplex and even Fort Max and whatnot, like I appreciate strong, strong <laughs> ratchets. It's so. true. In general, Titans, I think, have been getting better. Like, I think with each yeah. release, Titans have in general become better toys. So that's cool. This one, for some people, is a few steps back. For me, it steps forward. I like it a lot, but it I just know. depends on things. I mean, I think it's neat. Like, I like how on the arm, you know, like, I don't know, just the way that they executed this with the, like, where... For yeah, the, the, the gap filler piece. There's, like, it's pretty a, cool. Yeah, like, they didn't... I don't know. I feel like in the past they wouldn't have put that in there. And they wouldn't have made it, like, double-jointed like this to, like, fill it in. So you probably noticed my... Suck. So I've had mine in the pose from the box... 
because I have my new age Megatron in his hand as if he's holding him. Um, the hands can do that. And holding him, the hands stop looking weird. But if you actually look at the hand, this is definitely an uncanny valley of a person's hand. It's yeah. definitely got strange long fingers that might bother some people. I I like them still because they function. They do what they're supposed to. They will hold people, which is cool. That's threatening. They work for what they're supposed to. But they do look strange. They are very strange hands. I could definitely I see a third-party kit that. doing a hand replacement. You yeah, what? I, I never noticed that. They Yeah, they have... Str- it's especially the thumbs. If you look at these thumbs... Yeah, the thumbs are... The thumbs are super strangely shaped. They're just bizarre. They're they're like uncanny valleys of hands, basically. It's like it's a hand, but something's off, kind of deal. It's fine though. It doesn't bother it's me. Not, it's a robot. It's not flagged that for me. Okay, sure. Yeah. It's a robot, so I I don't think it's a big deal. I like the I... way it has. Go ahead. Oh, I wish he had a weapon. This does not have a weapon. That is true. Unless some, you count. Some sort of something. You know what He's I'm going to say? cannons on them, Christian. They don't Knowledge. think anywhere in robot mode. Knowledge is a weapon. And Mainframe invented the internet. So. That's true. He did. Yeah, this... like, I mean. Okay. So. I'm going back to the cartoon here. But the cartoon. There's like the, the giant path blaster cannon. That shoots the way through the asteroid belt, the, the meteor shower to get them through, and then the nemesis follows them. It's like maybe he could have had that. You know, some sort of crazy thing that he could hold he and has then these, deploy. Like, and thruster things on them. his legs. No, sir. I would say you, you don't count those as those are a weapon. I, I do not. Have you ever fired a gun from your leg, Lucas? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but. Have you? All right, then. What does that sound like? What about has? That was from his hip. That's totally different. <laughs> Planet uh, Terror, yeah. the the zombie movie. Planet Terror. The late the lady had the leg gone. That was a thing. She made it work. It'd be more of a thing than what the arc has. This big fella can make it work too. Pew pew. Yeah, and see, he has these cannons. So, like, if he puts his arm like this, then cannons. Bam. It's the same issue I had with Scorponok last year, though, because Scorponok needs a gun, and he doesn't have True. one. Um, or a really spear. All of them since Metroplex. I or mean, Fort, Fort Max didn't come with his, uh, a sword either, oh. so, you know. Yeah. Well, sometimes Fort Max came with his sword. Mine carries the sword from... Depends on where you go. Yeah. Mine carries Calculation King's sword still. Because it's too That's... big for calculation key, and it's very pretty. Alright. It looks nice! It's You're a good. very nice sword. Okay. Ah, I just can't are... talk about calculation king seriously. You're just way too obsessed with things being correct. I, I am. The I'm arc confused. doesn't care about your correctness. The arc it is does care about having a really cool face, though, because his face is big. It is really cool Autobot. face! It's well done. From... Marvel Comics issue 60 something. Where the primal screen? Peter would know the issue numbers. I just know it's in the 60s. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that's the um, last Autobot. It's super cool. Unfortunately, the head has its neck muscles attached to the head assembly. So when you turn its head, you also turn its neck muscles, which is just a little bit weird again, but it's all right. Like, as long as you don't look at it while you do it and you only look at it after and before, it's fine. Don't think about it too hard. Like its head doesn't picky. tilt for that reason, though. None of, none of us except you have ever thought about that. <laughs> right, right. That was, like, one of the first things I noticed when I was playing with them. I was like, turn the head. Ooh, the neck muscles are moving. That would hurt. That would rip. And you'd be in pain. What? Neck muscles flex. They don't it's move like... like that. Anyway. I think about my toys too much. Anywho. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, one of the big things people are talking about is how this does have the big gaps in the wrists and the lower legs. And, you know, those are things. Those are things that could bother you. For some reason, in a toy of this size, it bothers me less. Not exactly sure why. 
<laughs> but well, it does Phil bother says me. He less. also noticed the neck muscle thing, so there we go. Oh, so not just you it's not that weird to think about it. It just depends so. on how much he anthropomorphizes your robot. I mean, I, I I don't know. Like, I I don't have a big problem with the arms and whatnot. The fact they put those fillers in, or you know, whatever these pieces here, like it just doesn't yeah. bother me. That uh, makes it look complete. It doesn't look wrong anymore. Like on a lot of the smaller figures, it's just empty. Right. So it looks wrong. And this is just like he has a weird build. You know, he has these like big chunks coming off of his lower arms, and that's just how he looks. Like, it lets me kind of have that, like, disbelief that that's supposed to be that way. The big chunks on the back of the legs, they're supposed to be that way. That's the consequence of being a giant spaceship that turns into a functional humanoid mode. And there's just no way around it. It makes him a little awkward. Well, well, luckily, like, there's nothing that they're, you know, have to reference with it. So, <laughs> you know, it can look this way of footage, Luke. <laughs> they can say, you know, hey, this is how he's supposed to look. So, yeah, see, Phil agreed with me. I wish the head had more articulation in general. I do, too. The head looks really nice, has nice light pop piping on the eyes, just like mainframe does. They both have really cool heads. But yeah. both their heads lack articulation in places that they should probably have them. You both should be able to look up and down, and they can't. It's just kind of a bummer when you have a toy this big and this expensive that it can't do that kind of stuff. But Yeah, I mean, we accepted it with the Headmaster guys because that's the sacrifice you make for the gimmick. But this year, it should have up and down articulation. Yeah, this is not a Headmaster. You should be able to move its head more, and you can't. But I... I don't know. Just the look of this thing is what gets me excited. It's like a the good freaking look. rib cage. Like I love this yeah. rib cage. It's creepy. Yeah. The way like I don't know. The rib cage gives the idea of bones, and then you also have the armor on the sides here with the gray bones underneath, and the gray bones here. It's just like a, a skeletal robot thing wearing a ship as armor. I really like it. It's a cool. It's definitely got a unique silhouette. I don't think there's any it other customers that look quite like this. Yeah, the closest thing is all the comparisons people are making to Tidal Wave, and it's a bit of a stretch. It's pretty big of a stretch. It would require a lot of... You could remold this thing into a one-piece Tidal Wave. You probably shouldn't, but you could. Yeah. At that point, make a new figure. Yeah. Um, one of the things people have talked about a little bit online is how the underbelly of the chest feels hollow. Again, I'm like... I'm, like, in charge of complaining about hollowness on figures, and for some reason this doesn't bother me as much. I think it's just the size. You could, you could keep mainframe in there in bridge mode, and it would solve that issue. But That's true. Because there is... Sorry about that. There's hollowness in the armpits, too. And, again, that's just kind of a consequence of what he is. He is a ship that turns into a, a person. And, you know, if you up this thing to, like, a $300 third-party masterpiece level figure, you could probably get all of these, you know, all these little, like, flaps and parts bending in the way that they actually make closure and make more solid limbs. But we're talking, that would make the figure really expensive and really complicated. Right now, it's simple. Like, it's, right. it's a Titan that's very easy to transform, easy to play with, like... As loud as you put the child on a weightlifting campaign before, you could actually have a real kid play with this. I mean, to be fair, most yeah. of the Titans um, are not really that difficult to transform. Like, <clears> not history. that difficult. I think he's the easiest, though. Maybe. It's a pretty simple toy. But he also looks the most like another thing in all mode. The early Titans, remember, they, they don't look like anything at all. Though. They just kind of, like, lay down and deploy a bunch of flaps. And, oh, it's a basement. Scorponok was better. Omega was a little bit better. Right. Omega did what Omega's supposed to do, which has never been great. Yeah. And Scorponok looks well. good. Scorponok's a good... Scorponok is a good Scorponok. Also, yeah. his alt mode has always been silly, but a good yeah. kind so, of silly. This looks like an actual thing. It it's does. Like this thing. It looks like a ship... And I think that's one of the advantages of it being an all-new design. It didn't matter how it came out in robot mode. 
Like, however it came out is how this character looked because the character didn't exist before. That's an advantage of doing a new design. Yeah. We like new ideas. We don't I like, love new ideas. We don't like gaps. But... Yeah, those are big ones. I'm sure DNA will come I'm along sure and DNA solve them will them come me. out with a $100 kit for you, Christian. Right now, people are putting out a lot of, like, nice-looking 3D-printed fillers but because of how much plastic it takes, the price on them has been really high. So it's yeah. kind of a bummer because they're doing a good job with them. Like the ones I've seen, they look nice. They've done thrusters. They've done the fillers. It all looks really good. It's just the price tags are so big because the figure is so big. Yep. I'm not going to worry about the gaps for me because I'm not going to be displaying it like this. If I was, I'd have a problem. But mine's going to sit up like this, like on a launch pad, and you don't see the gaps that way, so I'm going to be okay. Yeah, there is that, um, that like, launch pad holding stand device. Catherine, if you're still in the chat, you can tell us what it is. Um, it's a Shockwave Lab. Yeah, kit. it's a Shockwave Lab thing. And that, that apparently is really cool. She has it and said it's pretty neat. It was, like, $45 before shipping for me to buy. And I was like, I don't know that I want to buy that expensive thing. It's a it's a moderately expensive thing that isn't anything, you know, it's it's a new thing. Right. So you have to just kind of be open to it being an all new thing for this particular it, toy. It, it does sit on the thrusters fine. This is it's sitting on the thrusters. It's not, you know, unstable or anything. It it'll it'll stand like this just fine. <laughs> I, I disagree with you, Randall. Randall said I'd say Trypticon is the easiest. I don't think so, because Trypticon is scary that. to transform. Yeah. All those hip problems people talk about. It's going to sheer apart at any moment. I need, like, a good night's sleep and, like, some, like, meditation and anxiety like, exercises. Just a then I transform. Like, a couple figures? Like, it hasn't been an ongoing issue. Like, ain't yes, there was, like... how do you know? Were you part of that run? No, I don't know. Mine seems fine. I don't take chances. All my toys are sacred artifacts. I have to protect. Yeah. Mine was a gift, so I have to keep it safe. So, so my question is, is that in the rankings of the Titan class figures, where does this rank for you? Not Easy for me. Well. Two. Four. Five, yeah, Randall, five. like, Trypticon, like, there was, like, a like a run of early ones from Asia that had some, like, hip problems, like, but I, it wasn't, like, a widespread thing after that run. It's just a fear yeah. factor. I do also think Trypticon's more complicated than this guy, but your mileage may vary, of course. I'll say on my copy, I think it's because those pieces were loose in the box during transit but a lot of my paint has been chewed up okay and it's the it's the worst painted hasbro figure i've gotten in, in like two or three years and it's not its fault i don't think i think you know sometimes it just happens and my number came up but like the paint on the side here is chewed up like any of the gray paint yeah my parts were not floating up. around like that like they were not on the figure but they were like in a little compartment in the box yeah, yeah mine were same with me. Flying everywhere. It was not great. That I was not great. lost from Amazon for like a week and it was a whole thing. So, you get what you get. Yeah, I was going to say, yours might have just been since it was like a weird Amazon <laughs> thing and shipping thing and all that. Yeah, your box was beat up too, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, yeah so you kind of had some bad luck. I just grabbed mine from Target and it was in good shape. They have still not shown up at Target here. I think we've gotten like two different shipments of them here. They, they just, probably never will at this point. Yeah, it's also random with these things. But anyway, like personally, you asked like where the rankings go. Like Scorponok is just so cool. Like Scorponok is a robot scorpion and like very light on the scorpion and heavy on the robot. It's so like 80s mecha. It's beautiful and I love it so much. And I've wanted one since forever. And that is a very good version of him. So I adore, you know, the Titan Scorponok. It's definitely my number one. But this one is a pretty close number two for me. It's just, it's equally neat 
in a lot of ways. I just like robot scorpions more than spaceships. I don't know. For me, like, yeah, <laughs> Scorponok is by far, like, that's the best Titan class figure that Hasbro's ever done. If you don't yep. have it, get it. Um, I mean, I like Omega a lot, too. I thought that he was really well executed as well. I like Trypticon. Um, Fort Max, I think, looks nice, but I don't like how, like, the alt mode is executed and, and whatnot um, on it. I mean, I guess if you count the combiners, like, you know, Devastator and, and Predaking, King, I kind of, like, oh, leave yeah. those out of, like, those. Yeah, and, and, like, I was leaving them out of my ranking. I... I, I, I I like those or whatever. Like, my Metroplex, like, I feel like it's not fair because I have, like, $100 in upgrade kits on it. Um, Because I have the impossible to find, what is it, Unique Toy City set and whatnot on it. And then, which which does a lot. And then I have whatever the uh, Toy Hack stickers and whatnot. So, it's like, I feel like I had to do that to Metroplex to make them look good. Um, whereas, like, a... I feel like this is pretty good out of the box. Um, so, I I don't know. I'd probably rank him, like, four or something like that. Like, I still would recommend him for someone. Like, if you want this figure, if you think it looks neat and all that. Like, I think it's well, you know, overall, like, well executed for a Hasbro yeah. Titan figure. I mean, again, it's still a Hasbro Titan figure. It's not a masterpiece. <laughs> so, sure. it's like, don't expect that. But, I mean, I think... Yeah, you know. I think if you formed an opinion of this when you first saw it and watched a review or whatever, that's the opinion you're going to have when you get it. I don't think there's anything here to make you think it's way better than it you originally thought or way worse than you originally thought. I think it, what you see is what you get. Mainframe helps. Mainframe breaks mainframe it up a does few points. Mainframe does help. But uh, yeah, I think I might get it fourth as well. Scorponok, Omega, Grand Max, and this well the funny thing is is there's a lot of like i don't know like third parties whatever that sell like a mainframe kind of by itself that was like a hundred bucks and, and whatnot or what i don't know wasn't about there, this either i was just not wasn't there a tell or not me the teletran i'm sorry not yes the teletrans oh. other the teletrans yeah, have sold teletrans two or three times yeah and those those teletrans look better than this one like just yeah. at face value, but right. this one is still really good. I think and it's is an accessory or something I wanted already. Figure. Like, I think what it is that makes mainframe so good for me is I was already sold. Like, the second I saw this thing in bot mode and saw how, like, different it looked and how it looked like it played really well and how it looked like a good figure and it was new and all that stuff, I was like, I want that so bad. Like, I was way more excited about this than I would have been, like you know, a new version of Metroplex or something just because it's new and interesting. But then when they threw in, you know, a character that I've always liked and that I wanted a toy of just with it when I didn't even need it, I got super excited. <laughs> but I got both these guys. Hey, DNA, will you put out a kit for this? Please include push button. We like push button. What's that, Christian? You know what it is. All right. Push button was mainframe's action master partner. Oh, wow. I would like to have that too. I know you would. Lucas didn't know what that was, did you, Lucas? Or did you? Comment. You might have known. I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to comment. Can I neither cool. confirm nor Anna deny. Knew. Yeah, push button's cute. He's a little green. He's robot looking guy. I don't know. He's weird looking. He's not a conventional transformer, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, please include push button, some gap fillers, big old rifle. Uh, what else can I use? A thruster cover to make a fifth thruster. Uh, some sort neck of reinforcement muscles. to keep this from falling over. Needs new neck muscles. I'm just it kidding. Does not need new neck muscles. That's a weird thing. Uh, yeah. That would be, that Possibly would be hands. Like, I could see them doing hands. They like, to do, do they like to do articulated fingers on the hands, and it would be a good way to help people like Phil who doesn't like the hands. You have to make sure they could fold up because they fold up weirdly in the transformation. <laughs> they do. And that's part of yeah. why they're so like long, yeah. long fingers. Yeah. I'm okay with perfect. the hands look. It's, it's fine. Um, it has its issues. I think we outlined them. But uh, if you need an arc, and I needed an arc, 
good time to get him. Perfect to see that new really big transformer. Put the I mean, new nemesis, nemesis, but next year, come, right? Like it's not, not next, next year, year though. But... Next year, Cybertron Metroplex, which is a really weird choice for the size class because no one cares about Cybertron Metroplex except Christian. I feel like it's we'll going to be a redo of Metroplex. But I we'll feel see. like it's going to be Metroplex from Transformer Cybertron. We're going to see what it is. Because right now it's just a box. right now it's just a series of two words put together. It's true. I guess we should find out next month, probably. What if it's an all new thing where it's like a remold of the Primus figure that turns into Metroplex instead of Primus, so it's Cybertron and Metroplex at the same time? I just really like to see Christian's faces when I say things like that. That's patently absurd. Um, <laughs> it is Eric patently says absurd. he likes how it. the fingers are the pipes in the ship mode. <laughs> what? I don't know, that's what I said. Can you see the fingers like find the fingers in ship mode? Show us, Christian. I mean they're they're inside there. You can't see them. <laughs> that was all my problems happening at once. <laughs> they came untabbed and my pieces flew off. But now you can see where the fingers are on the inside. They're right there. They're just they're, no, they're not pipes. I'm sorry, Eric. You can't see them on the outside, they're just there. It just went I'm not gonna, gonna pipes. Them on. It just went from fourth to thirtieth in Christian's list of titans after doing that to us. I told I told I, oh, I see, Eric, Eric has a fan mode transformation that shows them as pipes. It might make it That's, better. It's not helpful to us if we can't see it. <laughs> but that sounds cool. Well, I should try to show us again, Christian, so yours will explode. Yes, please show us so mine will explode again. Part. This needs a pin. It's a friction thing and it needs, it needs a, a pen. pen. And yeah. I'm mad about it. There, there you Reassemble go. Reassemble my broken thing. Grumble, grumble, grumble. It's not <laughs> broken. You're like a Fixed little it. kid getting their first Beast Wars figure and a ball joint pops out and they cry. That was me. I did that. Yes. <laughs> that was that was also other kids I knew. I was too old. And then I tried to mix and match the ball joints, and they were never the right size to do that. They weren't. They weren't. But it was a fun idea to try to do that. And then I realized you couldn't do that anymore, so I did not become Anna. And you know what? You grew up, and you became an old, jaded guy who can't enjoy I fossilizers. Did. I'm so old. I'm the youngest person on this show, and I'm old and can't enjoy fossilizers. I'm like middle of the age range and definitely the youngest person at heart on this show. That's absolutely true. I'm old curmudgeonly. Yeah, Rand yeah. Randall says uh, it looks like your arc is breaking more than Triptychon. So. <laughs> Not wrong about that. Fix it. He's back to normal now. Um, book club I have this to week. move it back to display and it's going to break again. Book Club is going to be R.I.D. 47 through 49. Uh, so that will be Sunday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord. It'll be fun. Yeah. I say that every week. It is fun. Mm. These it's days fun we spend week. a lot of time talking about new toys and stuff. I feel like I feel like Book Club has become a proper like social club now. It's go. become a it's become a proper book club, right? We used to spend like seventy five percent of the time talking about the books we were reading, and you know, real book clubs are an excuse to get together with your friends and like drink wine and gossip. Well, now we've turned it into a chance to get together with your friends, drink whatever you have on hand, and talk about toys. S slightly more similar to regular book clubs. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, Ooh. that's it. I think we all like it. I like it the most. You can always be sure that if something is like one of my favorite things ever, these guys won't like it as much. That's true. Yeah. That's it's, true. it's fine. I wish mine didn't explode. So, yeah, no, I like it more than I thought I was going to like it um, when I like didn't take it out of the box for a month. But I like it just as much as I thought I was going to like it. 
which has always been a lot. So. I didn't expect I would be as, like, jazzed about mainframe. I thought, like, I would get them and be like, oh, this is just a crappy packet that I don't think is very good. Like, I felt about the two headmasters. And instead, I was like, oh, I love this lady. It's so cool. I'm going to give it a hug. I just did. On camera. Adorable. Um, so thank you, uh, guys, tonight. Thank you to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Eric. Thanks to Randall. Uh, to Catherine, Phil, uh, Ron. I think that's it. Eric. I think you probably said Eric. I said Eric, yeah. So Everyone, thank you. Yep. All right, well, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Who knows what we'll talk about. <laughs>